you know, I've heard a lot of good stuff about the carnivore diet. I mean, I've tried it a bit myself as well. I've tried all these, I've tried the no carb diet. It's all right, but then you start getting all the uh, headaches coming through, ain't it? Because it's like your brain feels like it's not functioning properly. But then once I started switching from carbs to fats, you can feel a lot more of an effort on yourself, can't you? You feel a dramatic change take place. And carnivore diet, I've heard there's so much benefit about it as well. Like it gets rid of certain problems. I've seen it even cure people's hair loss problems as well. Mm. Yeah, there's loads, loads of good stuff with it. I don't know the full extent of it. I just know that uh, it almost feels like that's that's been hidden from common, common knowledge. And yeah, yeah, something I definitely want to get into. Like uh, it looks great. Once you get into ketosis and your body is using fat for fuel instead of carbs and you just fully get off that and you get rid of all of these cravings that have been put in your body over all of these years of eating foods that we just shouldn't be eating. Um, yeah, you start feeling good, really good. And I can't wait to eventually do that. Well, good luck to it. I know it's going to do wonders on you as well, because I, I think you, you so seriously, you come across to me as a person who instantaneously adapt to the carnivore diet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could probably go through like the, what is it? It's, it's like the headaches and the, from like the lack of shit, yeah. the stuff, because like you behave like an addict when you come off it, because your body is literally addicted to stuff like sugar. I, I could probably handle that. It probably wouldn't be comfortable, but I'd get through it and then, yeah, get on to the, the, the other side, which is so beneficial. Definitely, definitely. I mean, because I can remember when I started, when I did the, um, when I was doing no carbs for a while, it was really frustrating. I and mean, there's a lot of agitation involved as well. But afterwards, you feel like I don't really miss eating that stuff anyway. So when you get rid of bad salt and you stick, you switch from bad salt to one quite yes, yeah, like what you get off the counter or anything like that, off the shelf, and then you switch that to pink Himalayan sea salt, you feel so much better from doing that because you feel actual minerals, vitamins coming from that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then once you get into that habit as well, you're both feeling really good and you've got into that habit. So it's tough to break and like you just never really want to go back. So if you can make like a little in incremental change, like one little piece at a time, eventually you can transform everything and you won't ever want to go back. Definitely. I mean, because you because then your mind is automatically and your body automatically just just to that new lifestyle. And then it's going to say, why, when you eat something bad again, it's like, why are you putting this back in here for? Get rid of it right away. Don't ever put that in here ever again. There's, there's that old cliche saying, isn't it? The body's like a temple. Treat it with respect. And yeah. I, I know, yeah, especially nowadays, it, it is a bit hard with all that temptation everywhere. But it's how you beat it is what counts. Mm, 100%. Because we all go through it, but it's getting through it that matters. If you can get yourself to the other side. Yeah, the good side, not the dark side. <laughs> no, because uh, because I've had a, speaking of diets, I've had friends who are even on the pescatarian diets, you know, where they just eat nothing but pescatarian food, and yeah, there are a lot. Of, it's like they said that it's extremely beneficial for them. They occasionally have a bit of chicken here and there, but when it comes to eating steak, they say no chance for having the steak. Fair enough. I mean, each to their own. Yeah, it's each to their own, and like you know, this works wonders on them. They're like you know they. It clears up all the skin, it clears up all the bad habits in the body and everything. And that's what you want from it, doesn't it? It's like, as that saying goes, isn't it? You are what you eat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, if you could train with anyone in the world, who would it be and why? There's a couple, but... Take your time, I'll, I'll, take, I'll, I'll sit back here. Take, take your time. I, I think I've got an answer. I'd say... Mike Thurston, if you know who that is. No, please explain. Yeah. His name kind of rings a bell, I would say. Yeah, he's um how would I best describe him? He like was your classic fitness influencer like a few years ago. But you know, I, I'd want to train with him more because of who he's become now. Um, and of course he's a huge fitness inspiration, like for me, but it's more like as I said, who he's become and the network he's in now, the kind of friends he has, the kind of things he's doing. Um, and, you know, he's a remarkable businessman as well um, with loads of, of connections. And he seems to be in this network that I can see all of, like a lot of the other guys I look up to as well. A lot of these other men are in, are in this sort of network, um, 
like of all of these successful entrepreneurs and like he does a lot of collaborations with people um and like you see him doing interviews and videos with people we're like oh i didn't even know they were friends but it seems like everybody is in this this network um and so i'd want to train with him because i look up to him quite a bit because of his business um his uh his business advancements and obviously his physique and everything he's done but yeah he's he's someone i take inspiration from i see myself living that kind of lifestyle that he has as well um and so i think we get along I mean, I, mean, I think you would actually. I think mean, only you can, you can tell. Because you know, uh, when I met you for the very first time, we instantaneously got along with each other. I remember when we were filming a podcast and you were like, oh, we make it nice, right? Like, just sit there, do what you need to get done all quietly, do our podcast. And that's how it is. Your know, first expressions count, don't they? Yeah. And you know, yeah. How, you pre- how you present yourself in the first place will say a lot about an individual. And that's just about it. If you can get along with anybody, Go for it. it. Says a lot about yourself as a character. Mm. Yeah. And so, if you could, one last question: If you, what advice could you give your younger self if you ever came across it? If you had the opportunity to go back in time to me, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty young now. I think people get this question and they kind of ask, like, "What would you tell your 18, 19 year old self?" Um, yeah. And I'm at that point now. But if I could go back and tell let's say my 16 year old self, um, something for when I first started with fitness, man, what would I say? I'd say a few things, but I think the main, you know what, Eddie, I wouldn't really change much and I wouldn't really want to mess with anything because I feel like I've, of course there's things I could have been doing better, but all of the, let's say negative things have, given me a perspective that I wouldn't have got if I didn't go through them. So I don't think I'd say anything. I think I just let things run their path because like I said, every every setback for me personally has just become something I can use to advance. So I wouldn't change any of that. No, I like that's actually one of the best answers I've ever heard to say to you from the amount of people I've interviewed on my show and met in real life. You know, that's actually one of the best answers I've, I've ever heard. So good on you for that, Julius. Thank you. Now, seriously, it's like, like I said, eventually, for you, yeah, you are a very humble individual and you will come across as an individual that who doesn't forget where they've come from but knows where they're going in life. And at that age, that your young age, that's, that is, you know, very inspirational. I think down the line when people watch your interviews, watch you hear about your story, you're going to change a lot of lives down the line of the way as well for the greater good. Well, I really appreciate you saying that, Adi. Thank you. Most welcome. No, seriously. I mean, it's like, like any advice you can get off anybody it is good advice, especially when you've come across somebody who's a bit older than you because you always know older generation always has a lot more advice to give because they've been here a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if I can just do a little bit of that, change somebody's life, then, then it'll make everything worthwhile, yeah. Definitely, and yeah, because all we want is something good to happen for the next generation and more generations to come as well. So I said good on you for that. That was actually one of the best answers ever. Thanks. Appreciate that. No, definitely, definitely. So hopefully soon we will definitely get that coffee and yeah. uh, we will have a proper sit down and talk about it as well. Obviously, I'm still, whenever somebody watching this, yes, I am still fasting. So uh, yeah. there's no coffee cups around here today. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully for the next interview, when I interview somebody else, there'll be coffee cups lying around all over the place. <laughs> oh, with any luck, let's hope so. Definitely, definitely, yeah. So, Julius, thank you very much for coming on the show. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you, hear your story, and thanks for one of the greatest answers I've ever heard. I think I'm going to have to put that in definitely on the top 10 list, or top 5 list, I'll call it that. It's, like it's going to go in there, definitely, for sure. I really appreciate and, that. No, seriously, since seriously, I actually, I mean that with all honesty, my friend. And like I say, just continue being yourself, and um, you know, we're definitely going to have to collaborate more down the line. And we'll wish you nothing but the best for your life, and God bless you. Thank you, Eddie. I really appreciate you having me on. I've had a lot of fun, so thank you. <laughs> well, it's been, uh, the fun's all the fun. The pleasure is all mine. Like I say, whenever I bring anybody on the show, it's it's that beautiful story I want to hear. Is it is regardless of what it is, whether it's fitness, whether it's a chef, whether it's an architect, and I've managed to interview various peoples in the field. 
were those kickboxing champions, actors. It's all about that story. Everybody has a different story to hear. I want to hear the different story. I want the world to hear the different story as well. The world is full of good stories. It's about getting out there and hearing them. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I wish you the best of luck, Addy. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you very much. We'll see you back in Nottingham when you get here. And everybody, please don't forget to give Julius a follow. And subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, be sure to stay tuned. We have a lot more food blogs coming. We have more chat over coffee episodes and some new other stuff as well, which is, I'm not going to tell you, you have to tune in. Well, again, thank you very much, Julius, and all the best to you. Thank you.